all about it. So we'll discuss. We'll discuss many many things today, my all my friends. I'm sure you guys will oh, really really. I'm really sorry to interrupt you. Uh, yes. Sasi, can you uh, Sanjeev sir has already joined? Can you please make him the co-host and. Yes, sir. I have already done. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, DC, please continue. Yeah, so uh, so I look forward to all of you. I'm sure we'll have a very engaging session and uh, and you know very uh, good uh, insights and inputs from uh, Sanjeev sir. So I think uh, on uh, behalf of all of us, uh, I would like to uh, welcome Sanjeev sir today. Uh, and trust me, sir, friends, you know, our uh, speaker today needs no introduction. He's a leading name in the Indian financial financial services industry. Uh, Sanjeev Bajaj, sir, joint chairman and managing director of Bajaj Capital. Uh, after taking over the reins from uh, uh, the founder chairman, Shri K.K. Bajaj, Sanjeev, sir, has been instrumental in the growth story of Bajaj Capital and is presently leading the digital transportation uh, transformation initiative. Sanjeev, sir, wears multiple hats. He's a successful entrepreneur. Uh, investor, business coach, writer, uh, and host of India's most watched financial talk show titled Fantastic Talks with Sanjeev Bajaj. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's it's beautiful. And uh, for all the CFP enthusiasts today, uh, Sanjeev, sir, in fact, is among the first batch of 25 CFPs uh, in India and, in fact, brought the CFP program to India. I'm sure each one of us are thrilled and excited and look forward to lots, lots of learnings and takeaways from uh, this session today. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you and good morning, everyone. It's a lot of Thanks, it's a lot of responsibility that uh, you know you all have chosen to be here on a Saturday morning, and I need to do something that uh, adds value to your life. So guys, I would uh, really love it if, uh, if, you know, there are a lot of very experienced people on the call, I see it. And uh, if you can just write a few questions that are there in your mind. So uh, uh, am I audible? Uh, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Really yes, sir. Yeah. Very good. Okay, because some people have said that uh, they are facing some issue with the voice. Okay. So guys, uh, the point is that, uh, you know, I need to add value to your lives. I need to make uh, make sure that you get value for the time that you're spending with us. So if you can write a few questions that come to your mind, then I would love to cover them. You know, so today I would like to cover the story of what is called a financial success. Okay, and uh, let me just tell you about that, you know, what are the various types of an organizations? Okay, there is an organization which is like an elephant. These organizations, like when you are setting up your own practice, you set up an elephant. These are very large industries. Uh, you know, you invest a lot and you set up a huge amount of infrastructure, you know, and and you hire a lot of team members, and then Apkipas manufacturing it, then you want to uh, you know take the best advantage. And the way you win is that you win on price. Okay, so if we see financial services, then banks are like that. They have beautiful infrastructure, large offices. They have retention of the clients. Okay, and, uh, you know, and, and, and they have a lot of team members. And once they have the team members, they, they are looking at going out and, uh, you know, capitalizing on it. On a comparison, like if elephants say compete karna hai, on a comparison, the other type of organizations are called cheetahs. Okay, this is a research done by one of the top IM Ahmedabad professors. So, you know, you have cheetahs. Cheetahs are agile, fast. They are meant to run fast. And this is how a lot of the successful financial planning firms or successful independent financial advisors are, this is how they operate. That they are, they are uh, you know, they are young, they have a small team, they are very agile, and they are very in tune with what are the products that are available in the market. And, and they bring the best products to their customer at the right time. Whereas a bank being an elephant has invested so much and has so many team members 
that it takes time for the bank to uh, this thing uh, to be able to be able to uh, be agile okay and to bring in new products with so the pura process follow hoega. here you can do it much faster you can bring opportunities to the customer okay so this is these are two types of organization and you have to choose if you want to succeed in this profession that am i an elephant or am i a cheetah and then there are there are these third level of organizations you know what is an animal that is or an insect that is virtually impossible to eradicate once it comes you know that's the cockroach okay so once it's there in your house it's an impossible to eradicate but at the end of the day it plays that small role so you know a lot of organizations are like cockroaches which are living to survive okay so they are not living to thrive they are living to survive so aapne apne liye decide karna hai Okay, do you want to be the elephant? Do you want to be the cheetah? Or do you want to survive like a cockroach? And this is where most of the organizations in India do, where you're doing cost cutting, you're living for the day. And believe me, you know, when even when I look at Bajaj Capital, sometimes we operate in that manner, that where we are just trying to plan for the next three months. But if we, but if we want to win in the long run, today, when, when we are, uh, you know, living in a very competitive world, then we have to have a long-term sustainable advantage. Jo kehte hai. Hai? So guys, I know aap, you must be wondering why am I talking about this? Hai? The reason I'm talking about is that this is the strategy why you should do CFP or you should not do CFP. CFP stands for Certified Financial Planner. And let me give you a brief history of how it got created. Hai? In early 2000s or the late 90s, when we were growing, our biggest challenge used to be to increase the number of wealth managers because the wealth managers had typically would take about three to five years to be trained on the job. You know, we used to be like, we, I remember when I, uh, you know, when I started uh, and uh, people, companies came to my college, that time they used to say that, we, you know, we have a two year uh, path that hum two year aapko rotate karenge various jobs mein, and then we will give you the right stream. And a lot of companies were like that, all the multinationals. But aaj ki date mein we expect ke yaar, jis din hum nikle, us din we want to be successful. So by the time early 2000s, it was getting very, very competitive. The India was growing very fast and we needed people fast. And not only us, but the whole industry. So as an industry, we came together and we said, look, what do we do that we bring in good quality people who are able to solve the customer's need and yet do not missell, okay? Because at the end of the day, that time misselling was hugely rampant. People were not understanding that, you know, if I have 100 clients, I can live a life of them. For a good financial planner, if you have 50 clients, you will live a good life because your client's wealth is increasing by 15% on average every year in India, 10 to 12 to 15%. So that means if your market share unke same bhi rehta hai, your money is your wealth, what you are earning from them or your their investments with you are increasing by 12 to 15% per annum. So you think that your growth growth is getting you from there. And if you're doing a good job, you're referable. Referable means that people should refer you on your own. Okay? Then that money is already, uh, you know, then you are getting few new clients also. So your business is growing on new acquisitions. Your business is growing on retention and your business is growing with your clients. Okay? That's why when we see the pictures of financial planners, they are playing golf, they are enjoying their lives. But this is not only in India. Typically, a good wealth manager, yesterday I was talking about how a good employee needs to work 60, 70 hours a day if he wants to excel. You know, a good wealth manager can live, build a very good business by working only 20 to 24 hours in a week. In UK, in a lot of international friends I know, they are these wealth managers who only work Monday to Wednesday and they'll work 12 hours. On Thursday, Friday, they'll work only two, two hours of Saturday and Sunday, they're chilling. So, but if you look at it, they've just put in two, three days of work. But the reason they are able to do that is because they have a consistent client book. Okay? And consistent client book, may you need to just not be very innovative. 
again i don't want to move into behavior finance at the moment i want what time what time trying to tell you is you need to have stable client so guys this is where cfp came in where we what we did is we did a job need analysis for all wealth managers ye ek wealth manager to excel what all does he need to know theek hai so all the points were listed down and then in addition to that we added what is ethics then we brought in the world's best curriculum at that time it was financial planning association of australia where the government had funded 25 million dollars to them to build a very very good ethical curriculum because that market there were a lot of retirees coming in and they wanted good quality advice to go to those retirees okay so what it does is that so the, this is on the basis of which the cfp curriculum was made and cfp curriculum is updated every 3 months and today it is you uh, you know it is controlled by financial planning association which is a global body theek hai earlier india used to have a separate curriculum us would have a separate curriculum canada would have a separate curriculum but now what they have done is that they have made 80 85% of the cfp curriculum as common because at the end of the day the fundamental principles of investing financial planning giving advice remains the same it is only 15% tax laws that change from country to country so when you choose to do cfp guys you are choosing to be a cheetah or an elephant theek hai you can choose elephant if you are setting up an organization with 10 people with back office operations cheetah if you are setting an op- organization around yourself theek hai so you are choosing to be a professional you are choosing to build capacity and cfp is building capacity because it teaches you how to win in the long run in a sustainable manner and to be able to add value to your customer theek hai there is a huge uh, there is a concept called imposter syndrome and ye nahi hai ki all of us go through this ki yaar am i you know i have got this opportunity i am talking here or i am advising to this client who's a multi millionaire or a billionaire am i the right person ठीक है एम आई द बेस्ट द पर्सन दिस कैन गेट ठीक है सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ये सबके हमारे माइंड में जाता है बट सो दैट इज व्हेन वी रीड व्हेन वी डू द सीएफपी द फोर मॉड्यूल्स टीच यू एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग व्हिच यू अदरवाइज विल नॉट लर्न यू नो द फर्स्ट इज इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लानिंग ठीक है एंड दैट इज व्हाट मोस्ट ऑफ अस डू मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर डूइंग गोल बेस्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लानिंग एंड हमें लगता है हमारा फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग का वर्ल्ड इधर खत्म हो गया but wealth is never built unless you don't preserve your wealth so wealth preservation is obvious as important as wealth creation so second module comes in is in insurance planning theek hai because agar i have built a beautiful house theek hai but i have not taken an insurance which will be few maybe a few thousand or few but it will be few thousands only and there is a fire and the house goes away then the crores of wealth that i had created and put it into that asset goes away theek hai so second aspect is protection where you will learn insurance planning then third is is the wealth generation wealth transfer because people want to transfer this wealth to their next generation so you earn uh, so you learn retirement planning or you sorry you earn estate planning ठीक है सो हाउ डू यू क्रिएट एन स्टेट हाउ डू यू क्रिएट ट्रस्ट व्हाट आर व्हाट आर द वेरियस ऑप्शंस व्हाट कैन यू एडवाइस टू द क्लाइंट्स हाउ कैन दे मेक देयर वेल्थ इंटरजेनरेशनल ठीक है देन आफ्टर दैट कम्स टैक्स प्लानिंग दैट हाउ डू यू ऑप्टिमाइज टैक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू नो इन इंडिया अलोन इफ यू सेव टैक्स ठीक है देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ वेल्थ टू बी जनरेटेड अदर डे आई वाज डूइंग अ टॉक टू द रिटायरीज अर्ली यंग पीपल who who would, who are working in a government organization where they would go almost to the retirement and i was explaining to them that by just doing tax saving and the tax saving jo india mein abhi bhi available hai atc nps and others you know if they do that their corpus will be additionally by about 5 to 6 crores by just investing the small amount of money they, they will have about 6 7 crores of additional money at the age of 60 and today nobody retires at 60 with longevity you know 60 people are as young as there so they can actually live a great life because hamara jo concept let me explain another concept to you is a second income 
ठीक है दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई टेल पीपल दैट व्हाट द व्हाट आर वी ट्राइंग टू डू सेकंड इनकम इज व्हेन यू आर एबल टू बिल्ड एन इनकम दैट इज एबल टू सस्टेन यू इवन इफ यू डोंट वर्क ठीक है जिस दिन आप जैसे सपोज यू वर्क टू एंड यू अर्न 3 लाख रुपीस पर पर मंथ if you are able to build an asset which can be a rental property or it can be a systematic withdrawal plan of a mutual fund or a pension plan where you are getting that 3 lakh rupees then you work for choice not for having to work and that is what the purpose of a financial planning or a investment journey is that one day your investment should be able to pay for your life and you should be you should be working because it's your passion to work okay so this is so this is what it is about so then uh, as i was telling you there is a retirement planning module which tells you how to plan for retirement in cfp and finally there is advanced financial planning which tells you how to put it all together okay so this is a beautiful program and let me tell you for most of the investment professionals even if you have a brief amount of uh, understanding it is very easy ye ek bada misnomer hai ki cfp is going to be very tough no it's not tough at all it is very simple made in very simple language because you know we are not teaching person to be a scientist but we are teaching a person to be a manager who is able to understand the work of a scientist okay so you are able to understand the work of the investment managers the research analyst okay who have done cfas and others and you are able to decipher it understand it and take take it to your customer and that's where the cheeta comes in that you are able to understand the right and the wrong the asset allocation how do you use asset allocation other day somebody was telling me ki you know aaj ki date mein to i can buy index funds theek hai so how how can uh, how can you add value to you to you i said do you really think you get money or you create wealth due to investing in just a fund that's a very simple normal where a, how a financial planner and advisor like me or a company like ours will add value is asset allocation when should you be in blue large caps when should you be in small cap mid cap and if you make those small changes you can add anything between 1% to 6% to clients uh, you know i i xirr over a few period of 15 20 years and when we talk about we all know the power of compounding with that extra 2% means double the money in 15 years extra 3% means get five times the money in 20 25 years so it's it makes a huge amount of uh, difference but we have to be ethical we have to be honest and that's the final module of cfp that why is it why is ethics important okay this is this is not a separate module but it, this is put all across uh, the uh, the cfp curriculum so guys to understand cfp is is that you cannot be an ordinary to win in a very super competitive world theek hai when when i started it there was only one company like bajaj capital theek hai and there used to be a lot of other stock brokers but today if i look at it there are hundreds of companies like bajaj capital hundreds theek hai and and there are lakhs of financial advisors who are doing a great job and there i have to say cf icfp is responsible because 85% of them are created by icfp okay so 85% of india's cfp cfps and most of india's registered financial advisors are all icfp students so most of them have been created by icfp but the good thing is that you know ek, my father used to tell me this story he saying ki agar aap mughal garden mein flower ho so then you are you are a different flower and if you are a kichad mein lotus then you are a different flower so aap kichad mein ho so what what type of world do you want you want everybody to be prospering together or you want to be prospering and everybody to be in kichad or 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 dirt so you know so so agar hame we want to live so he taught me ke let you prosper but help others prosper also and this has been a very important part of my a uh, life where i spend at least 20% of my time on helping contribute to the society contribute to others and that's why we created the cfp curriculum i don't know whether you knew know it or not a lot of these book originally maybe 20, 20 years back were written by me because at that time we couldn't find writers and we had to bring in people from uh, abroad but they didn't understand india 
and we hired a lot of very good research analysts and all we wrote these books together because we wanted this industry to become ethical. So those of you who have been in this industry for 15, 20 years will remember at time they would say, advisor hai, yaar, ye to cheat karna hai mujhe. Today, people respect advisors. People respect you because you have helped them create value. You have helped them create money. And there it's simple concepts like SIPs, insure right insurances, and that can add value and that can give you a lot of revenue also. So guys, I hope I've been able to explain to you that, you know, choose that what is the role you want to play. Choose whether you want to be the elephant, you want to be the cheetah, and you are, or you want to live like a cockroach. Okay, the choice is absolutely yours. If you want to live life king size, then CFP is very, very important. And it's not difficult. It'll be so much fun that, you know, at the end of the day, I tell a lot of students to do CFP who are never, who don't want to be financial planners ever. Because I, I, I truly believe that if, if it is these fundamentals of investing is taught to the youngsters, then they will know how to create wealth. Okay, they may not have the time to do it your, themselves. They may use an advisor, but they will be investing on the side, uh, you know, and they'll be creating wealth. They'll understand the fundamentals and they'll be richer in life. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between money and wealth? So money is what you have today and wealth is what will remain with you. So my, my request to all of you is move towards creating that wealth. So I'm sure some of you want to be financial planners and, uh, you know, will use it professionally. But even if you are a student or you just want this knowledge and you're a very good coder, you know, have this knowledge. CFP is absolutely fantastic program and ICFP is the best institution to do that. And that has been a testament that despite all the competition in last uh, 20 years, they have still retained 85% of the market share. So guys, I don't want to make it a monologue. I just want to, I hope I've been able to bring a sort of a transformation in your brain. And transformation doesn't need a rocket science. It just needs a spark. So I hope I've been able to uh, light that spark. So Rishi, I will, uh, you know, a lot of people are asking about CFP, how to do that. Why don't you answer that? In the meantime, I will read the questions uh, that people have put in. And then we can take a few questions so that I can add value to people. Yeah. Uh, if you want, I'll 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 read the couple of questions which are there, and you can answer those uh, few of them. And then rest I'll do the uh, about the program and all briefing later on. Yeah. So just uh, why don't you brief? Because I'll need a minute or two to read the questions. So you can sure. just start briefing the people, and uh, by that time I'll go through all the questions that people. Have sure. Asked. Sure. Sure, sir. But sir, first, thank you for sharing, uh, you know, your valuable insights. Uh, truly food for thought, as you rightly said. Uh, so, uh, friends, now what I'll do is I'll I'll uh, just share my screen. And uh, one second. Yeah. So uh, I think as, as sir uh, gave us such wonderful thoughts, I just thought, uh, let me just share a couple of, uh, you know, interesting data points uh, before we get to the, uh, uh, the the understanding of the curriculum and, and things across. So uh, I'm sure each one of understands we are right now in the in the Amrit Kal of India, uh, as as it is said. Uh, because you know uh, it's it's truly dynamic. The undercurrent is is very well established. Uh, we expecting the you know the the GDP to to uh, to to double by FY thirty one, and that trickling down effect in terms of our all all of our incomes is actually happening. I'm sure you all are realizing that your incomes are increasing. In fact, uh, you know the number of individual taxpayers who uh, generated income over one crore actually doubled in the last three years. So that's a kind of a traction which is coming. And when people earn more, it is business for people like me, people uh, for, for, for companies like Bajaj Capital, because there's more money to, uh, you know, actually create wealth and then uh, make it sustainable for, for everyone. Uh, 
uh, and and the second slide here, friends, that I want to highlight is how many CFPs do we have uh, in India uh, today? So uh, the latest latest numbers from FPSB Board India is as of December twenty two. That's the official number, which is twenty five hundred. Of course, there would be a couple of more, but twenty five hundred. And what kind of uh, you know uh, clients that you would have? Uh, in if I only talk about the unique mutual fund account holders, that's around three point five crores. You talk about the DMAT account holders, it's 12 crores. So we are just looking at one in 14,000, one in 48,000 kind of things. And when we talk about financial advisory and we say specialists, CFPs and RIAs, I think Sir was also mentioning about registered investment advisors with most of them being from ICFP as CFPs, it's almost around 4,000. So who fills in the shoes? So right now, uh, there is a supplier issue. And where doing a CFP really, really is going to be a very great career prospect, giving all the undercurrents that I've told you. Who fills in the shoes? The mutual fund distributors, bank RMs, chartered accountants, but that's just financial planning and goal-based financial planning is not their core areas. So it's only ancillary from them. So that's the kind of an idea that really, really there is a there is there is demand, but there is less of supply right now. And good time to get into this, this career and make a progress. Uh, so now I would give you a brief about uh, the CFP program. Friends, it's the topmost certification gold standard when it comes to personal finance. Recognized in 27 countries, and when I say countries, it is the developed, all the major de developed economies do recognize CFPs. Uh, it's a unique four-in-one certification program. And when I say four-in-one is because as you, as one candidate, you know, he clears uh, one exam, you get a certification there. So let's say after level one, we get investment planning specialist. So a designation by the FPSB board saying that, yes, this gentleman has all the skill sets to start advising people. It's the curriculum, friends, is personal finance and wealth focused, highly demanded. As I, as I said, wealth is now uh, a major focal area of investors. And of course, India is moving towards that. It's a short term course, eight to 10 months would uh, on an average, typically take you to from right start to end, uh, which is if someone goes for all the four levels. But there is also a quicker method of doing it, which I will discuss in a few minutes. Yeah, uh, Rishi, if I can come in. Uh, sure, I'm sure. sorry, I don't want to interrupt your presentation, but I've been able to go, go through the questions. Sure. So, I, so you can take people through this, uh, just, uh, you know. I will take another five, 10 minutes. And if guys, if anybody has any questions for me, please do ask, uh, you know, on the chat, I will be taking up the questions. Uh, so if you can put the sharing off. Rishi? Yeah. Yes, sir. Once. Yeah, yeah, so thank you. So, you know, the, the first question we have got, you know, that we have got is how much time it takes to complete CFP. Guys, this uh, will be covered by Rishi. What are the good institutes to come to complete CFP? Here, I can definitely say ICFP is one of the best. And that goes by, see, at the end of the day, the results are the final verdict. So if 85% of the qualified CFPs are through the ICFP, then they must, they must have done something right what is the cost of the cfp again rishi will uh, take it over then sachin has asked this question that what are the different types of cfp guys there's only one type of certified financial planner they are different modules and you will get certified even if you do one module so you can start using the cfp certification i will let rishi explain that to you more take care the process uh, also he will explain to you the scope of CFP in India and abroad is that, look, some, imagine somebody comes to you and says, okay, I have done a BA and I want to be your advisor. Or I have done your BCom. How confident will you feel? You'll feel, yeah, man, I'm, I'm such a successful person in my career because in our business, we are dealing with people who are super successful. Okay, so I have made money. Why would I listen to this person? There was one of our employees who made this video that you know that I was in a C grade MBA institute and I go and join a company and they give me a uh, two one month of training and then they go and tell me tell me to go and tell people 
who are super successful with 25 years of experience that you don't know how to manage your money. I will tell you how to manage your money when I have zero money in the pocket. So there is a, that imposter syndrome we talked about. So guys, CFP helps you know everything a wealth manager needs to know. Okay, so it helps you being a much more well overrounded, and this is a curriculum you will love. And believe me, even if you don't practice to be a professional, you will be a richer person in your life by doing CFP. You live a much more fuller and better this thing. Careers, yes, uh, you know all the banks, Bajaj Capital is very happy to hire CFPs. So guys, if any, I will write to the our HR heads email on the chat. Sunana M. Uh, at bajajcapital.com. If any of you want to work with Bajaj Capital, we are more than happy. And what happens is that most of the financial CFP grow at a much faster rate than non-CFP because clients trust them more. When they go to a client, hey, look, sir, I'm a professional. I'm like a chartered accountant. I'm, I, I'm qualified to do this job for you. Okay? So they grow much faster. They get paid much more. Uh, Linus is asking, is it sponsored by the organization? Yes, a lot of organizations like Bajaj Capital sponsor the CFP program. Every company has their different uh, rules. So it can get sponsored. Your company or corporate may have some this thing or may not have, but it's not a very expensive program. So my thing is don't just don't wait for somebody else to pay for it. This is an investment. You need to make it in your in yourself. Then Suyash is asking that I work for an AMC. Tell me how CFP will be use, useful to me. So Suyash, you only know one small part of it, which is investment planning. And even in investment planning, aapko, you will not really know goal planning. You will not really know, uh, you know asset allocation that well. And returns come from asset allocation more than the investment that you make. So it will make you a much more rounded this thing and it opens up opportunities for you that tomorrow you can be a wealth manager. You can, you know, it gives you many more options of careers in the future. So it, it is definitely, I will recommend all insurance, all AMC people, all people from, uh, you know, even different parts of financial services that you must do CFP. Then Raj, Rajan asks a beautiful question that look, I'm an MBA finance or I'm a chartered accountant. Uh, I get exceptions. Yes, you do. And that's called the challenge status. It's a beautiful because you have already have a lot of the basic things. Okay? So what I would recommend is that, yes, you should take these exceptions and go through the challenge status for the certification. But you should also buy all the books so that these books are available to you. And when you have time, because you know you may have forgotten a lot of the information, so you can go through this or you come across, you go through the things in detail. So buy all the books, but uh, definitely take up the challenge status if the, it is uh, how how to enroll for CFP. What is covered? You know, uh, you know. I will let Rishi answer that. Uh, then there is an interesting question which a lot of people ask: How does CFP compare to NISM based certificates? See, guys, NISM based certificates are very very basic. They are very basic. They are just made to get that regulatory stamp. But if you want to be a professional, you want to be a winner. It's like saying, okay, look, I do a one week course from I am Ahmedabad. Then what is the difference between that and I am then a two year or a MBA or a one year MBA from I am Ahmedabad. That's the difference between a CFP and NISM certificates. Okay, some, some NISM certificates may be required as per the law but uh, they will not make you a good uh, this thing. And uh, then there is Praveen. He's asked that 40 years, I'll be 14 next two years, 15 years experience in defense. So Praveen, yes, you know, uh, what can I tell you? We have had brigadiers who have joined us at the age of 52, worked with us till the age of 80. And they have done been very, very successful financial planners because you have a huge, beautiful community. So if you want to work with a company like ours, please do. You know, what we are looking for is good CFPs. You know, jitte marzin we ajay, you know, because we know they are good. And, uh, but what, let me tell you, please be patient when you join even a company like Bajaj Capital because customer trust takes time. 
ठीक है पीपल कम इन एंड से ओ आई वॉन्ट टू सक्सीड इन टू मंथ दैट वॉन्ट हैपन फर्स्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स इज वेरी रेगुलर्स एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल प्लानर बिकॉज ही हैज टू इस्टेब्लिश इज ट्रस्ट ही हैज टू इस्टेब्लिश इज फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड क्लाइंट्स बट बट वेन यू आर डन ठीक है वेन यू आर वेन यू आर मेड दोज हंड्रेड क्लाइंट्स दैन द लाइफ इज सो ईजी दैन नो द प्रोफेशन इज ईजी है तो वो होता है ना यू नो वॉट टाइप ऑफ हार्डवर्क डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू नो देर इज अ हंटर एंड अ फार्मर हंटर हैज टू हंट with equal aggression every day and over a period of time it becomes more and more difficult farmer is a person who has to work much hard more harder in the initial years build his farm grow the trees when once the trees are grown then they will keep giving mangoes for the rest of the life so point is that guys choose to be a farmer and doing the cfp course and working hard for the first two years help you become the become the farmer then there is a question of an angel investor how does cfp course is helpful see cfp course helps you with asset allocation and angel investing is one of the assets so you'll understand it you'll understand a bit of balance sheet analysis how to look at a good company how to read research reports it may not be 100% relevant for that but it will add a lot of value to you you know see if cfp is uh, is backed in india by almost 60 70 of india's top corporates so virtually every large corporate in india hires cfps and gives them preferences theek okay? hai so uh, there and is indian cfp valued in dubai yes definitely because a lot of dubai is based on nris who are looking to invest in india and plus as i said now the cfp offered in india is the global cfp you are taking a global exam so for dubai you may just have to take one additional exam and you'll you'll get a cfp dubai also i will i am not the right person to answer, answer that question but i will let rishi answer that question what is the total cost again rishi can answer uh how useful is it for mutual fund insurance distributor such and it is absolutely very very important because the number of people coming into this industry is huge the quality of people you will be competing with in the future is huge so in order to succeed this is your usp this is your winning point it is very very important i am an engineer i am planning to switch to a career in finance is it possible yes i absolutely some of the if you look at some of the best finance professionals they come from the engineering background because it teaches them rigor and it it gives you additional information on how to understand balance sheets how to understand companies better you know and and it bring and engineers have that rigor of doing things in a systematic manner which is very very important when you are helping a client build his portfolio ठीक है देन देर लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन अबाउट सी ए सी एफ पी विच आई विल लेट ऋषि आंसर दैट एंड आई होप आई थिंक आई हैव बीन एबल टू टेक मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट आर एड्रेस टू मी ठीक है सो सुबोध इज आस्किंग मी एनी एडवाइस फॉर यंग जनरेशन टू मैनेज पर्सनल फाइनेंस इन अर्ली स्टेज यू नो गाइज आई विल टेल यू दैट लुक इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट to be financially aware as early as possible okay we have a beautiful program from icfp which they don't offer only uh, very easily it's only offered to corporates or groups it's called fantastic which teaches children the value of investing and let me tell you my own children the all the all the all the discussions with them used to be about buying this buying that doing this doing that and after them doing this program the con conversations changed you know they started talking about companies businesses value you know that uh, that are you creating value are you being wealthy and there's a beautiful book by robert uh, kiyosaki called rich dad poor dad i'll definitely recommend all of you to read it so for young generation let me say that do your tax planning first take care use that taxes and the savings that are available to build up creation for yourself and that starts on your investment journey do a cfp that helps you understand companies you will be able to do the right picks 
you'll be able to understand the world, hold the pink pages and the world starts making sense to you. Geo adds a new service, you'll understand oh, what will it do to the share price and you, you learn to create value. So they, it, it is, you know, uh, it is very, very exciting. Does it teach you to analyze various types of mutual fund? Definitely it does that because investment planning is a huge part of a certified uh, this thing. Uh, on age restrictions and others, uh, on how to appear, uh, uh, you know, I will let Anna is asking this very question that will CFP have to work in a sales role? Now, this is very important. See, there is a difference between a salesman and there is a difference between a relationship manager. Okay? So initially in the first two years, you have to sell yourself. Okay? In, in today's world, you know, I have a slogan which I give to my team. If you don't do that, should you be your own Mia Mithu or should you beat your own drum? You know, people say no. I say absolutely wrong, friends. If you don't build your brand, if you don't celebrate yourself, nobody else will. Okay? And that's that's the biggest mistakes I have made sometimes in my life where I've been under the radar. But at the end of the day, today, if we are living in a marketing world where you have to market yourself, and in, as CFP, as I've explained, first two years will be sales where you have to go and sell yourself. The look, I am there, I can do this. I can, you know, so to acquire the first 50, 100 clients, Yes, it is a sales role. But once you have 100 clients, then you can live off them. Then it becomes a relationship role. And if you are smart enough, you will hire a CFP to work with you as your para planner. And you and you can you can just be a relationship manager. You can be enjoying lunches, dinners with clients, taking them for golf, taking them for tennis, other things. And you can have, in CFP, we have this, concept called finder, minder, and grinder when you build your practice. Finder, or or even as a professional, like we allow a lot of our own wealth managers to hire para planners to work with them. In fact, I keep telling them to do that. So finder is a person who finds clients. They are your marketing people in the company. Minders are the people like you who are minding that relationship. And grinders are the people who are doing the the portfolio reviews, getting the form signed, doing the KYC, sending reports, sending updates. So if you build a, want to be a professional financial planner or a wealth manager, or, you know, as an individual or in a company, then you should definitely use, uh, uh, you know, younger financial planners as grinders, you know, who in the first four or five years can add value to this job. On insurance and risk underwriting, yes, uh, it will definitely help you because there's an insurance planning and retirement planning module which will help you uh, position the products in a much more systematic manner to the customers. So yes, it does add a huge value, uh, this thing. See, uh, Akshay is asking that CFP growth in India, we started 15, 20 years back. Today, we have these are people who are carrying the certificates. See, a lot of people come in, they will do only investment planning or they'll do insurance planning because they are operating in that area. So they are not included in the list. But if you look at the total list, there'll be more than 30, 40,000 people who have benefited from CFP and who are operating in that industry. And there'll be another 30, 40,000 people who have, who have done CFP, but they are doing some other profession, but this is added value to their lives. And uh, then the person is asking, how should I build a practice? Guys, yes, it is very important that when you are building a practice that you should not do, try to do everything on your own. Because then you will fail. Because, you know, suppose even building a relationship with 15 AMCs, two or three insurance companies, two or three life, two or three this, aapka sara time operations mein nikal jayega. So what you do is you do some direct relationships and then you work with companies like Bajaj Capital Partners, or what we call advisor network division and uh, and others, and you help them bring you more uh, products to your basket so that at the end of the day, your main client is your customer and you have to give him what is the best, this thing. 
Is CFP comparable to one in UK? Definitely, as I said, it's a global program now. It is definitely uh, comparable. CFP career growth is amazing today. Industry, if you look at all the uh, you know people who had done CFP 15 years back, today they are the leaders in that industry. You can do your own diligence and let Rishi answer that. And uh, so, guys, uh, I will let most of the other questions is that uh, is all around uh, financial planning, CFP, and uh, this thing. So I will let uh, Rishi answer that, and I hope I've been able to add value to you. Uh, guys, and uh, uh, handing it over to you, Rishi, to take it forward. Thank you so much, Sanjeev, sir. Uh, I think you've answered the questions uh, with all the insights, I think, of years of experience that you've shared in just pretty few minutes. I think that's really, really grateful from uh, and thankful from all of our side. So I'll take the uh, presentation further in terms of understanding of the curriculum and uh, things. Yeah, thank you, everyone. It's It's been a great pleasure to be talking to you. Please do understand the basics. Another 5-10 minutes will add a lot of value to your life. So please do take this time to understand what Rishi is saying and, uh, and get all your answers clarified. Don't keep waiting on my again. I'm going to quote my father. He says, there are people, you know, to be a winner, you have to run the race. If you never ran the race, you're a loser. So don't keep waiting on the sideline. Take a decision, do things, and win the race. You may not complete the race, but at least you ran the race. Okay, so guys, uh, please take this time to understand this and wishing you great success in life. Uh, so thank you, everyone. Thank, thank, you, sir, sir. Sir. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, uh, friends, uh, I think after such a wonderful uh, event with Sir in terms of he's shared all his insights and his years of experience managing such a big organization, Bajaj Capital. Let's get back uh, because I can see so many questions are, are there. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, as I run through uh, the, uh, the presentation now, friends, I'm sure certain of the questions will be answered, but don't worry. We'll take up everything, whatever, all the other queries that you have by the end of the day. Uh, by the end of the session and I hope that I'll be able to answer everything that you have uh, which you want answer uh, replies on your queries whatever the case is so let's just uh, run through it so as I was telling you about the CFP program I said uh, there are four levels I also said that you know there is another short uh, method which is known as the challenge pathway where I'll come in few minutes it's a personal finance wealth focus we've discussed all of that it's a short term uh, 8 to 10 month kind of a program which you can take from start to end. Uh, this I'm talking again, friends, about the uh, for candidates who want to go for uh, all the four levels because there are four levels to it. But if someone who wants to go for the challenge pathway, uh, he, he, can, he or she can do it much, much quicker. As I think uh, we, we've discussed it at length in terms of, you know, this certification adds value across uh, your professional, uh, wherever you are right now, in whichever profession you are there, it does add value. Either you want to add it in terms of your career or you want to do it in terms of your self-management of you know money. Finance these days is also, an, is also a concern, right? For students, of course, uh, someone who's right now into graduation, why not do this, this global certification? And then by the time you guys are out of the, uh, of your graduation, you've completed that you have you have a very, very strong entry point and very attractive proposition for, for you know, BFSI kind of companies. Working professional upskill adds value. When it comes to financial practitioners, why not increase the vertical service verticals? Why not do that? So I think this certification does add uh, things over there. Retired professionals. It's basically managing their own money or why not start a second career? Why not? I think, I think somebody was mentioning about here uh, someone from the from the forces. So definitely uh, you can add a second career. For teachers, uh, uh, it's basically for becoming a guest, guest faculty or maybe, you know, someone who wants to become someone who's doing, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, bringing awareness about uh, your, you are passionate about, you know, bringing awareness on finance. So why not? So these are all the aspects uh, of different places where these this certification can add. Uh, value in whichever way, whichever way you want to use it. Uh, program eligibility. 
we had questions on it. I'll answer it right now itself. So minimum requirement is a 10 plus 2. So anyone who's 10 plus 2, 18 years of age, he can join in with us. Uh, uh, when he can join the CFP uh, uh, program. Uh, and there is no restriction in terms of streams or percentages. Right. But the only requirement would be that the, the particular person, when let's say he completes all the four levels, but he will require for the certification, which is the CFP charter, you require a minimum three years of work experience in the BFSI space. But if someone who's, who's into graduation, he cannot get it. There is an alternate way also. He can pursue one year of supervised articleship under a CFP like me. So then what's going to happen is you can then show it to the board and you can get your certification. So there's a way in which this can, this issue can be sorted out. Program structure. I already mentioned there are four levels. Total, there are 10 modules to study, my fr um, uh, friends. And I will discuss about the modules in, in some time. The final level includes projects and case studies. So I'll, I'll give a briefing of that. Don't worry. Now, exams happen every month. So depending upon my flexibility, I can certainly, uh, you know, I can plan, let's say any candidate who joins in, he can plan his uh, basis on what he wants to do, how he wants to do it every month because exams are there, both online and offline facilities also provided by the board. And uh, the other element that I want to also uh, add to you is that there is no negative mocking. So this is something again, uh, which, which has been provided by the board in terms of how they do the uh, assessment or an evaluation of every level that we appear. Now, friends, coming to the modules, I think, uh, uh, in terms of the curriculum, friends, it's one of the very, very beautiful curriculums. You know, I, despite the fact that I'm coming from a finance background myself, but I really found out that there are many things that was not part of our MBA and all. And this is an area which is absolutely very well covered when it comes to the CFP uh, curriculum. The level one, friends, is uh, known as the investment planning specialist. Here we have, friends, three modules. The first one is the personal financial management, uh, which is uh, where you know you're going to talk, where the, you you will be learning about you know how do you make budget for clients? What is the essence of uh, making a budget? Uh, how do you manage discretionary expenses? Time value of money. You will learn about you know the power of compounding. How do you actually can you can you really mathematically compute the value of a gold today? Or what is it going to be in future? That all is going to be trained. You guys will be trained on that in personal financial management. Coming to investment planning, very, very, very important topic. Understanding of all the asset classes. What are the various investment options? Everything in depth is going to be is going to be taught to you. Then asset allocations. Sanjeev sir did mention what how critical is asset allocation. So that will also be taught to you. What are the different kinds of portfolios? What kind of strategies can be followed? Very, very, very interesting topics. The third element, the third module is regulatory compliance. Friends, CFPs and all people who are working in the BFSI, uh, they have to follow certain compliances. So this third module is going to give you an update on that. Coming to level two, friends, we have retirement planning and tax planning. Now, retirement, friends, is the biggest goal for each one of us who's present here. We might be in different uh, industries, different geographies, but retirement, yes, after 60 or maybe depending on the longevity, but still we need to lead. We all would love to lead the similar lives that we're doing it right now. How does it happen? The retirement planning module is there to help you understand that. How, how does the accumulation happen? What kind of withdrawal strategies can be developed for clients? So all about that tax planning trends, extremely important understanding of all the five heads of incomes. How can we really capital gains? Very, very interesting. Clients would come to you, ask about this is the money we're making. Can you help us save tax in ethical manner? Yes, of course, it's possible. So about that, all is going to be taught to you. But global taxation also in terms of you know cross-border taxation, how are the impacts of that is going to be there in the tax planning module. Third comes risk and estate planning. Extremely important insurance. So somebody who was talking about insurance, who's in the insurance business, this is just one of the stories. You're not, maybe you might be aware, but you, a lot of people are not aware about what's the background, what's the design of an insurance product? What are the kind of yields that you really get? Can we compare different products? Do we really know all the kind of products, right? Can we really understand how much is the under insurance uh, what is the copay? So all those things in terms of, you know, insurance products are going to be taught to you. Estate planning, friends. All the life, we, all of us, you know, we'll be working. Our parents have worked very well uh, and built assets. It's our duty to see that, ensure that, you know, this these assets go seamlessly to the next generation. Estate planning is a core focal area on that aspect of things. So right from start, 
from you know from the scratch someone for to help clients build wealth grow their money build wealth uh, you know pr protect the wealth and then transition it smoothly seamlessly to the next generations is the entire story which is going to be addressed by a cfp professional coming to the final module friends we have uh, we have a, a, you know you will be you will talk about the entire financial planning process this is a process which is a usp of the cfp uh, profession this is something that has been devised and updated evolved based on years and years of practice engaging clients how do you learn doing that developing financial plans then friends one of the very very good elements of of the cfp program is uh, in final level you will be you will be required to submit a 360 degree holistic financial plan uh, to to the board so that because the board expects us each one of us who's pursuing cfp to be able to build plans you know execution and building execution of plans will only be possible when we really build the right curated plans for clients so that all is going to be covered here and they want us to be each one of you to be skilled very very well skilled because that's the way you will when you go to uh, meet clients you will be excel excelling because you have the requisite skill sets which is required why icfp why international college of financial planning friends friends as it's part of bajaj capital group one of the biggest financial services companies in india six decades of experience in this business pioneers i think sagib sir did mention that uh, the cfp profession was brought to india by icfp since 2002 the number one the largest the biggest market share 85% is with us most experienced qualified cfp faculty students cas cfas Uh, uh, CFPs and PhDs are all part of the faculties. In fact, friends, uh, the uh, former India director uh, is our uh, uh, is our program head, uh, Madam Madhu Sena. So she is also part of it, and you can imagine how much uh, value she can bring in because she has been there at the helm uh, at the financial planning standard board. Uh, highest number of CFP certificates and passing percentages with us. Very very notable. You you check up any notable name or. Uh, uh most of the in fact the notable names of i uh, of alip of people who are doing excellent in the financial planning practice is going to be uh, icfp alumni uh friends uh, you know uh, right now we do not have classroom sessions at the moment we had it before covid but after that i think with the advent of technology we saw that people uh, the preference of candidates was more towards uh, online because i think it's a global world we all uh, we have people from different geographies as well apart from different cities in india so for virtual classes friends uh, you will have it on zoom platform uh, batches could be both weekday and weekend depending upon which month you are enrolling and uh, uh, so what is the difference i think somebody had asked about what is the difference between virtual and e learning see friends in case of virtual faculties like me will be there in the session in the zoom session so you will be interacting with the candidates as well as the faculties same faculties when they uh, you know the from the same faculties re recorded videos when they are being shared that platform is known as the e learning so if someone who uh, let's say is way way busy in his life he doesn't have time to attend those sessions right so he can probably go with the flexibility model of e learning whereby uh, you know he will get access to those recorded videos which he can uh, go through them and then later on of course Uh, get on one on one with the faculties to discuss and you know sort out the doubts so this is the basic difference between the virtual classes and the e learning sessions uh next friends most comprehensive cfp material in india i can vouch on that that is provided by icfp uh, the in depth concept books and the workbooks will really really make you very very near to uh, you know what kind of an exam really comes Uh, from the fpsb we have frequent guest lectures so that you know you also get exposure to how the industry is evolving what are the trends in the industry right now then uh, the the uh, you know the the sessions the zoom sessions recordings will be provided to you let's say some days you cannot attend because of certain reasons you will always get you can access it later right online mock tests so if someone who wants to appear let's say in the month of november he gets access to uh, an lms facility which has all the mock tests so he can go through them understand what all gaps are there and then bridge them and you know just achieve success assignments will be uh, will be provided by uh, the faculties during the sessions doubt clearing sessions do happen before the exams one or two weeks before the exam you will have these doubt sessions where you can certainly get one on one with the faculties both all i mean it's e learning and virtual everyone can come over there have their doubt sorted and even you know can can come one on one also so that kind of flexibility we provide uh, uh, ultimate flexibility in terms of the idea is to see people get successful as soon as possible uh 
friends, now comes the fee. Let's understand the fee also. Uh, so I'm now going to explain you the FPSB board fees. See, the FPSB board, which is the parent uh, body of the CFP practice in India, uh, there is a registration charge of 18,000 rupees, friends. Uh, this 18,000 rupees is valid. This registration, in fact, is valid for one year. So the idea of the board is that, you know, it's, as I said, eight to 10 months, so it could be uh, one year, May it's very easy for people to clear it. So I think that's the way they've designed it. Uh, then, friends, also there is a uh, mandate for, uh, mandate from the FPSB to buy e-books. So it's not that we have to buy books, uh, all the four levels at, at one go. Let's say someone who's into level one, so he can only uh, buy books for uh, level one right now. Let him complete and then he can go for the next level. So that's the way uh, in a piecemeal uh, basis things can happen. FPSB exam. So as I said, you know, every month the exams are happening. So let's say someone wants to go for level one. So for every level, level one to level three, uh, we have the fee is 6,750 rupees. For level four, which is the final CFP final, the fee is 13,000 rupees. But again, as I said, as we move forward in the journey, we can always design it the way we want to do it. The financial plan assessment I was mentioning about, there, there, is, a, there is a submission, uh, 360 degree financial plan submission to the board, which is required. For that, the fee is 10,500 rupees. So this is about the regular pathway. Right? By regular, what I mean is I've written there four levels. So someone who starts from level one, level two, level three, level who he wants to go through the complete thing. Then I think, friends, I mentioned to you about something about the challenge pathway, uh, where I said, some, uh, you know, if the person has the relevant education and the experience, he can straight away uh, go for the CFP final. Whereby it means uh, he has to submit the financial plan to the board, get it approved, and also clear the exam, and he can get the certification there and then. Uh, the requirement, friends, is... Uh, uh, provided by the board in terms of, you know, someone who's a chart, he's a professional, uh, financial professional, chartered accountant, he's an MBA, or maybe even a CA inter with three years of article ship is also uh, good enough for uh, getting enrolled in the challenge pathway. Uh, then friends, uh, uh, CPA, someone who's a CMA also, MBA in finance, majors finance is required. Uh, someone who's also a postgraduate in economics. So these are the kind of things. And also along with this, they also look at the three years of BFSI experience that's required. So if someone, as I said, has the relevant education experience, you can go for the challenge pathway. Coming to now, uh, friends, the CFP study fees at International College of Financial Planning, what do we charge you uh, if you want to join us? See, friends, uh, I mentioned to you about the virtual learning and the e-learning models. Uh, in total for virtual learning, for all the four levels, the fee is uh, 60,000 rupees. Uh, but if someone who, uh, uh, you know, plans, I think that's a better way of, of, you know, paying us lump sum. So there you can save roughly around 25%. So the fee then becomes 44,900 only. Coming to the e-learning where I mentioned about pre-recorded lectures, uh, sessions from same faculty like me uh, provided to you. Uh, there the fee, the gross uh, fee for all the four levels is 44,000. Again, if someone can manage to pay it lump sum, you can get a 20% discount on it, which is it. And the fee then reduces down to 34,900 only. Then friends, I mentioned to you about the challenge pathway, which is the with, with someone who's got the relevant experience uh, education and the experience, there the fee is 25,000 rupees. Uh, of course, uh, in the challenge pathway also, you will be getting a prep book so that, you know, you, someone who joins in, he gets well, he's well aware about what's happening, what, what is the, what is the learnings that he can, he has to be aware of in what happened actually in the previous three levels. Plus the other things, I think they, they move forward in terms of the project monitor, uh, mentoring and uh, the level four study and all is done uh, very well. Uh, so since friends, I think uh, you guys have joined us today and and uh, and you are enthusiastic uh, of, of uh, understanding and going for this profession. So why not? We should do a uh, slightly good uh, kind of, we can give you an offer here. So friends, the offer for the today uh, day is flat 10% discount on, you can go for the e-learning uh, module uh, version. You can go for the virtual uh, classes or the challenge. So in each of these uh, uh, ways you want to go for, you get a 10% discount. Uh, also friends, I think as I also uh, mentioned to you early that there is a need of uh, buying FPSV content. 
if uh, if you go for the offer today so we will be giving you discount coupons and uh, you can, across i mean in 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 total uh, across the four levels you can save up to 16250 rupees uh, based on the discount coupons that we'll be sharing with you then friends uh, the journey doesn't end here the story doesn't end here uh, we will also be providing you access to our very own uh, NISM 5A e-learning videos, uh, which is 15 hours, helps you to crack the NISM 5A exam. Somebody wants to go for that. This is an add-on uh, advantage. Then again, friends, access to the stock market learning app. Uh, which is again an in-house share Gurukul Guru product, uh, which is a seven hours kind of uh, duration. Friends, the total cost of these two are individually, it is, it is 5,000. So what do, what's the kind of uh, offer that we are bringing out today? See, we, I said 10% on the CFP course fee, 16,250 is what you can uh, save on the content uh, fee. Then uh, uh, 5,000, we are giving you two uh, learning apps worth 5,000 each. So total saving friends today, if you, Go for of this offer, you get a saving of 30,000 rupees. Uh, friends, you can pay us in lump sum. The other ways you can, uh, you know, just by paying 5,000 rupees, you can book your uh, fee, uh, seat today. Uh, and what we can even do is if someone wants to go for a loan, we can pro we can help you arrange uh, from one of our partners a zero percent interest loan. There, you will only have to, after five uh, paying 5,000 to us, you can uh, we will be arranging a six easy EMI option at 0% interest rate. Uh, so friends, this is the number. Uh, pay 5,000 and enroll with us today. The offer is for uh, today. Uh, you can call up this number and our uh, counselors are there. They're eager to help you out with this. Uh, now, friends, I will take up uh, uh, some questions that, uh, that are there uh, in the system. So I think I've answered a couple of them, uh, but I'll still take them up uh, one by one. So uh, eligibility to appear, uh, I think uh, Pari was asking eligibility to appear for CFP. Friends, uh, Pari, I told you it is uh, someone who's 10 plus 2, he can start. Someone who's into graduation, he can again go. So I think it's 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 pretty clear, I'm sure now. Uh, sir has already answered the sales question. Since the survey helps full, or, uh, I think this is also done. Uh, then I think... Uh, Uh, planning to do fintech also is this valuable with CFP? See, it's again there. See, someone who's from a tech background, he knows the technology side of it. But you know, designing of the product, uh, you would find a lot of these fintech companies are coming up with very innovative kind of products, both on the uh, you know, uh, and I think I've seen more of them on the fixed income side of where, where they want to really come up with you know NCDs and kind of you know different uh, interest uh, structures that they want to make there. Someone who's with a CFP will definitely add value because he has now he will have both the tech and the finance uh, background at one go, which will help him, you know, really develop uh, products, understand the investor psychology, because we do also have uh, modules on behavioral finance and then really, really make up a very good package out of it. Yes. So, yes, it's a it's a big uh, go if some and if Aniket, you want to go for it. Uh, Sachinji, I've already answered the difference between virtual learning and e-learning. I said virtual is where the faculties like me would come in and 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 you know uh, explain you things, explain concepts. And e-learning, you get similar same faculties, but with pre-recorded uh, sessions. Depending on your convenience, you can decide which one you want to go for. Uh, which online class is there any uh, uh, only online classes? Yes, uh, uh, I think there's someone from iPhone. Yes, this is the uh, uh, because I think. Uh, uh, the idea is, friends, that you know, it's it's actually we have people from different uh, backgrounds, and they we also are running. Actually, if someone wants to go for offline, we do have a uh, you know learning center in Lucknow. So if people who are there near Lucknow, they can certainly uh, go for uh, the offline version. But usually, in most of the other cases, uh, it's it's online because you know, see, I am based out of Delhi as a faculty. But if someone wants to learn from me, then I think it's only going to be possible on technology because I can't travel uh, that ways every week. Uh, physical classes in Mumbai, Amrita Ji, not at the moment. Uh, you will have to go for online sessions, uh, but it's pretty comfortable. I have not seen uh, when feedbacks have been very very positive. And you also get, you know, uh, Amrita Ji, you also get recordings. In case of physical classes, if you miss a session, you don't have, you'll have to then check with, you know, you're the buddies who are sitting right and left, what happened in the previous session, like we used to have in school. So I think technology has updated itself. Why not use it to our advantage? 
uh, average pay after CFPC, someone who, uh, uh, you know, completes CFP, my idea is around six lakhs is what should be the starting for anyone with, with actually no, no experience. Uh, which course did you mention for the younger? I think you, uh, Amrita Ji, Sanjeev sir has already answered this question. Uh, see, Suyashti, that depends on on uh, which which organization you are working with, and uh, but definitely there is a there is a hike. If someone you are working with, you know, uh, you have experience in finance sector, they are definitely going to value this this because it's a gold standard certification. It's it's like uh, the best in the finance, personal finance space. There's nothing more which is there. Uh, go self in acquiring uh, Archana, the communication skills to pursue career in investment field uh, definitely I think it's it's because you know your interaction with uh, you will meet uh, if you go for the virtual sessions you will meet so many different candidates across the board you will make friends across there you definitely get a lot of new skills which when I was doing say, CFP I learned a lot from my engineer friends in terms of technology which I didn't know before that so there is definitely a learning and communication yes uh, can also be improved. Uh, I think I would looking. Uh, I think Linus, I have already given the time duration of the course, cost incurred, uh, fees, Bajiraji, I've already answered. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, we see one question I can see. Gopal yes, Ji, I'm an LIC and mutual fund advisor. How it can help me? Yeah, so as I think, uh, 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 sir, just try to understand that, you know, someone who's from LIC and insurance or mutual fund. So you're only looking at one aspect of the things. Uh, what we are talking about here is just, just, just give me one second here. So what we are we are uh, uh, trying to make you understand here is that you know you can add different verticals in it. Why not do retirement planning for your clients? It's again a separate business model, my friend. And why not even uh, do something like estate planning for clients? So these are the verticals that you can really add. And clients would like you know they would like to go to one person uh, and say uh, you know that. Uh, uh, one person and who can do the entire job. These days, you know, we don't have time for and it's very stressful. So it's better to go to one person who can provide me the entire uh, service. I would just like to give an example. We have so many uh, CAs who are joining us right now. See, their hardcore uh, focus is only, I mean, it's, it's basically their forte is the taxation part of it. But they are also understanding the needs that why not, you know, make it a one-stop shop. Why not also do financial advisory, financial uh, to help our clients to really, really, you know, build wealth and then uh, also protect the wealth. So that's why I think it's it's a competitive world. Why not add more verticals and make your business more, uh, you know, diversified? Yeah. So uh, language engineering is going to be English, uh, but yes, uh, uh, primarily English, but yes, it's a mix of both. Uh, but in certain cases, when we have like international students with us, then we just keep the medium as English only. It depends upon that. Opt only for the mock tests. Uh, Anita ji, you would really not, uh, the idea is if as you're writing, you are a CA. So I would, I would, I would request you to go for the challenge pathway uh, and then do the mock tests to have the complete uh, knowledge of things. Uh, fees uh, for the board, uh, uh, my friend, you have to pay it after every level. It's not that we have to pay it one time, but when it comes to ICFP, uh, you can again, uh, maybe just pay 5,000 and then go for the six easy 0% EMI. So again, it is piecemeal basis, but you want to take the advantage of the discount, then you can, then you have to, uh, you can always do it in terms of lump sum. Uh, Ravi, Ravi ji is saying insurance, uh, can I appear for final NISM certified and general insurance life insurance exam given? Uh, sir, I, as I, already mentioned to you for challenge you have the experience but we just need to see what's your education background if you can just share uh raviji with with my uh, uh counselors i think then we can have because we need to see that uh the requirement from the board is to be either a finance professional like a ca cfa uh or maybe a master's in economics an mba in finance but you can just share our details with with one of our counselors on this number and they can certainly help or you can mention it Achha, you've written it okay fine bsc it Maths, B. Ed, M. A. Lit. Uh, no, Ravi ji. Uh, we need. Uh, sorry, we need the uh, the the education requirement. Finance is required. 
uh, or maybe in economics uh, so you can uh, so you can go for the the uh, the all the four levels i think uh, as sir also mentioned you know the idea is to get more knowledge even if someone is going for the challenge pathway yeah krishan has already mentioned uh, when is the next batch going to start uh, if two people doing together what portion of cost can be saved uh, we will connecting them after the webinar sir okay sure Uh, so actually, there is no age criteria, not at all, sir. As long as you have the requisite skill sets, I think the BFSI space is looking for such uh, valuable uh, candidates with with the required certifications. Uh, approximate time per week, uh, Mitanj ji, uh, it's going to be uh, for virtual sessions. You go for it's going to be if you go for the weekend uh, session uh, batches. There, it's going to be two two hours. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be four hours of your time on weekend. And if you go for the weekday, then you will have two hours uh, daily. So that is going to become 10 hours per week uh, from Monday to Friday. And uh, for Saturday, Sunday, the weekend batch is going to be four hours. So that definitely has an impact on how soon you can complete your uh, uh, the, the, the modules and the levels. Uh, uh, Anita ji, that uh, content uh, the is is only for uh, the, uh, the 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 virtual uh, one uh, challenge pathway. Uh, uh, I don't think that's the case. Uh, no, it's not uh, available with the challenge pathway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So here, I am a MF distributor. Then can I go to challenge pathway, sir? Again, I said. Uh, you have the experience, I'm sure, uh, but the education requirement is what we'll have to uh, we'll have to check uh, because the board has a specific uh, category of uh, uh, professionals that they're looking for. Uh, so actually, I think uh, Sanjeev sir mentioned you can certainly apply. We do have uh, many uh, CFPs working in Bajaj Capital. Uh, someone named Nose Bunny. I think uh, I am a graduate, age fifty, with five years experience, uh, five years banking, and and five years freelance experience in mm. insurance. How it is useful to me, so, ma uh, sir or ma'am? Uh, you know, you can. Uh, why don't you think about starting your own practice? Uh, you can even, uh, you know, start your own practice in terms of because you have a freelance experience and you have uh, banking experience. Again, you are you have fifty years also. Uh, take this uh, certification. Maybe you can start your own practice in terms of getting clients, advising them. These days, it's a it's a big thing. Or uh, even if you think the other way around is, why not uh, maybe work with with the corporate as well? You still have you're not you're still too young. Uh, if if I look at that way, so age is just a number. Uh, in one shot, all the videos will unlock every week. Uh, Prakash Vardhandi, e-learning video accesses you will get. I mean, that, why why are we supposed supposed to stop that? For the virtual, of course, once the uh, recordings happen, once I have delivered a session only, then the recording will be available, right? But for the e-learning, yes, the accesses are going to be there uh, once you enroll with us. Uh, we see, we have paucity of time. We can take another one or two questions and then we have to wind up. Uh, if there are some questions, because I think I've, I'm seeing Kanaya, you have answered pretty many of them. So right. next so is, the last question yeah. I can see, uh, VIP is asking, I'm an MBA finance with a small college uh, with experience in BFSI. So uh, if you are an MBA finance, if you have exposure in the BFSI sector, definitely you can go for a challenge pathway. Challenge pathway, yes. But before that, we, we would request you to share your resume with us. And we will uh, firstly get it cross check with the board, FBSV board, whether you are eligible or not. And once we get a confirmation, you can definitely enroll for the challenge pathway. Uh, with this, thank you everyone. Thank you, Rishi sir, and thank you, Sandeep sir, for joining us this uh, beautiful morning. Guys, if you have any question, you can uh, call us on this number, 9711-43779. My team is there, Kishan, Manika, uh, Kishan, uh, Sahil and uh, four or five people are there to help you, guide you in terms of anything related to CFP. So thank you everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you. Off. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Take care.
if the law is do you all give placement yes one upon completion of your cfp we definitely assist you with the uh, placement signing off